in this lecture i explain how to solve equation of the form f1x dx plus f2y dy equal to 0 when the equation in this form then its solution obtainable by integration is integration of f1x dx plus integration of f2y dy equal to integration constant c if equation is not in this form then put it in that form or express to separate the variables so one by one we take the example so get the clear idea so first example is solve 1 minus x dy minus in the bracket 1 plus y dx is equal to 0 so solution we can write this as 1 minus x dy is equal to 1 plus y dx now separate the variables so we get dy by 1 plus y is equal to dx by 1 minus x therefore dy by 1 plus y minus dx by 1 minus x is equal to 0 now integrating this we get log of 1 plus y plus log of 1 minus x is equal to integrating constant log c now here integration of this is log of 1 plus y integration of this is minus log of 1 minus x minus minus plus we get here using the formula since integration of 1 upon ax plus b dx is equal to 1 upon a log of ax plus b we are using this formula here for obtaining the integration of these two terms now using the rules of logarithm this is a log of in the bracket 1 plus y into 1 minus x is equal to log c now taking anti log both the side we get 1 plus y into 1 minus x is equal to c now which is a required solution So this is the solution of 1 minus x dy minus 1 plus y dx. Now the next example solve dy by dx plus under root 1 minus y square divided by 1 minus x square is equal to 0. So solution consider this therefore we get dy by dx is equal to minus under root of 1 minus y square divided by under root 1 minus x square now separate the variables we get dy divided by under root 1 minus y square is equal to minus dx divided by under root 1 minus x square now taking this term here this side therefore we get dy divided by under root 1 minus y square plus dx divided by under root 1 minus x square is equal to 0 now this is not exact integrable so we can make the changes that is multiplying this equation by minus 2xy 
so that it can be integrable so multiplying minus 2xy we get now multiplying this minus 2xy to the equation we get x into minus 2y dy divided by under root 1 minus y square plus y into minus 2x divided by under root 1 minus x square dx equal to 0. Now integrating this we get x integration of minus 2y divided by under root 1 minus y square dy plus y integration of minus 2x divided by under root 1 minus x square dx equal to integrating constant c. So value of this is x into 2 into under root 1 minus y square and y into value of integration of this is 2 into under root 1 minus x square equal to c. If you're taking the integration with respect to y then x is a constant and if you're taking with the integration with respect to x y is constant. So here we have to take this x before the integration and y before this integration. Now value of this integration is we get and value of this integration is this. Using the formula since integration of f of x raised to n into f dash x dx is equal to f of x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. So use this formula to finding the integration of this term and also a this term. Now multiply 2 to the whole equation we get x under root 1 minus y square plus y under root 1 minus x square equal to c. So dividing to, to the both so whole equation we get this which is a required solution. Now the next example that is a third example solve y minus x dy by dx is equal to a into y square plus dy by dx solution multiply a to the bracket and take these terms to the left hand side we get y minus x dy by dx minus a y square minus a dy by dx is equal to 0. Now taking dy by dx common from this term and y from this term we get therefore y into 1 minus a y minus a plus x dy by dx is equal to 0. So therefore we get y into 1 minus a y equal to a plus x dy by dx. Now separate the variables we get dx by a plus x is equal to dy by y into 1 minus a y.
therefore dx divided by a plus x is equal to now it is not exact integrable so we can write this as 1 upon y plus a 1 minus a y dy after simplifying this we get the same value of this so therefore we get now multiply dy to the bracket so after simplifying we get the dx by a plus x is equal to dy divided by y plus a divided by 1 minus a y dy so from that we get the dy by y is equal to dx divided by a plus x minus plus minus a 1 minus a y dy taking this term in this side left hand side now integrating we get integration of dy by y is equal to integration of dx by a plus x plus integration of minus a 1 minus a y dy plus integrating constant log c so now integration of this is log y and uh, integration of this is log of a plus x integration of this value is log of 1 minus a y plus log c as it is here we use the formula to finding the integration is integration of since integration of f dash x divided by f of x dx is equal to log of f of x here use this formula from this formula we get the value of this log y value of this is log of a plus x and value of this is log of a minus y since derivative of y is 1 derivative of ax plus uh, a plus x is 1 and derivative of 1 minus a y is minus a so using the rules of logarithm we get this is log of y is equal to log of a plus x into 1 minus a y into c so taking the anti log of both side we get y equal to c into a plus x into 1 minus a y now this is the solution of this equation now the next example is uh, solve e raised 3 e raised to x tan y dx plus 1 minus e raised to x square y dy is equal to 0 so solution now separate the variables first of all taking here this term is here uh, we get 3 e raised to x tan y dx is equal to minus 1 minus e raised to x six square y dy so therefore separate the variable we get the six square y divided by tan y dy is equal to 3 into minus e raised to x divided by 1 minus e raised to x dx we have to separate variable here so now integrating we get integration of this is log of tan y and 3 into integration of this is log of 
1 minus e raised to x plus integrating constant log c. The reason is since integration of f dash x divided by f of x dx is equal to log of f of x using this formula we can get value of 6 square y divided by tan x y integration value and integration value of this is log of 1 minus e raised to x since a derivative of tan y is a 6 square y and derivative of 1 minus e raised to x is minus e raised to x now using the rules of logarithm we get this is a log of tan y is equal to log of 1 minus e raised to x cube plus log c therefore log of tan y is equal to log of 1 minus e raised to x cube into c so taking the anti log both side we get tan y is equal to c into 1 minus e raised to x cube now which is a required solution now these are the four example taking the explanation of how to solve equation of the form f1x dx plus f2y dy equal to 0.